Good morning. Let me present you today Helen of Ukraine. AFU defeated the invaders near Sovereign Stake. In Volin and police direction, the enemy did not take active action, but the units of the armed forces of the Republic of Belarus are working up the tax of combating sabotage and reconnaissance groups. This is stated in the morning summary of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. In Soresky direction, the enemy continues to provide enhanced security for section of the Ukrainian-Russian border and fire motors as civilian infrastructure in the border areas of the Kashyyyk and Sami regions. TV signal lost in Kharkiv after shelling. In Kharkiv, the television signal disappeared in the evening. The invaders fired on the city. Kharkiv residents themselves also report problems with television signal. There is temporary no on air television broadcast in Kharkiv. Ukrainian radio continues to broadcast at a frequency of 106.1 and 91.6 MHz. Kosan said, recall the Wednesday evening, June 8, Russian troops launched rocket attacks on Kharkiv. Trenches, grants, and the print press, all why Ukraine still lacks money. This war, the war started by Russia, has crippled the economy, not giving it a chance to recover from the COVID quarantine. Due, due to hostels, enterprises have stopped and destroyed infrastructure has been destroyed. The entire industry have, have been paralyzed. The damage already in the fourth month of the big war is hundreds of billions of dollars. Minus 800, minus 800 occupiers and many wounded, some of the general staff. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine told about the operational situation on the floor of the beginning of one or three day of the confrontation, the Russian invaders, the personal 15 separate motorized rifle brigade of the second combined army of the enemy suffered significant losses, approximately 800 dead and about 400 wounded, and total 1,800 military personnel from brigade took part in hostel on the territory of Ukraine. Zelensky, the fate of Donbass is being decided in Sorosnik. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Zelensky now remains the epicenter of the confrontation in the Donbass. According to him, the fate of Donbass is now being decided there, according to the result of the day, one or three days of the full scale. Zelensky remains the epicenter in the Donbass, where defend the position and see losses on the enemy. This is very fast battle, very hard perhaps of the most difficult of the war. Please, subscribe for more headlines like this. Thank you.